All right, hello everybody. Uh, it's Brewing with Bobby, episode one, with me and Minka. Let's get her in here. There we go. All right. Um, everything's a little crazy here with the coronavirus. We're hunkered down at home, trying to do what we can to make things easier for folks. Um, we'll give you a few little updates about what's going on with us. We're still open in Santa Monica, but our downtown and Wilshire shops are closed down for indefinitely. Um, our online shop is, is alive and kicking and we're doing free shipping on anything you order. And I'll have a little extra goodie coupon code for you guys today if you want to buy coffee beans. Um, today we're going to do the first of a series of brew guides and or how to do stuff at home. So we're doing um, brewing coffee on our Valkyrie brewer today and then um, I think next Tuesday we'll do how to make an ice minty cubano at home so check in next Tuesday 10 a.m. on that and um, wanted to send a shout out to all the cafe partners of ours that are still open so if you're in Pasadena go to Highlight say hi to them if you're also in Glendale go say hi to the folks at Highlight Eagle Rock go say hi to Annie at Found um, if you're down in Palos Verdes Go say hi to Reverend Coffee Bar. If you're in Long Beach, go say hi to Denise over at um, at uh, uh, Confidential. Uh, who else am I forgetting? Um, those are the big ones. Um, everyone is struggling in our industry, so anything you can do, whether it's going online, buying coffee beans from them, or just getting a latte and taking it home, really is gonna help everyone out to survive the next two to three weeks here. Um, so we're just trying to do what we can and um, we're here going to do a little quick brew guide on how to use the Valkyrie at home um, and we're going to brew one of our favorite coffees right now which is our Ethiopia Benko Michicha and we'll we'll put a link up uh, or just hop on our website it's a great um, it's a great Ethiopian natural coffee uh, and we're going to brew stuff that you can get on our site and or if you have it at home uh, just follow along yeah, and if anyone has any questions, I'm trying to like watch this thing as people uh, post questions live. And, and if you have, you know, this could be a conversation. Um, I'm terribly camera shy, as those of you who know me know. Um, Minka is not, Minka is a little rock star. Say hi, Minka. So she is, um, she's enjoying the lockdown because all of her humans are stuck at home with her. And so she has all the attention she's ever craved. So. Uh, we cannot get a house tour, um, but you can see my kitchen. Uh, so let me tell you guys a little about the, the Valkyrie Brewers. Grab it. All right, so um, what kind of, someone's asking what kind of water should we be using at home. Uh, filtered water works. I'm not going to make you go and buy any fancy water packets that give you the right minerals or whatnot. Um, that seems just like excessive to me if you're just trying to do something casual at home. Um, but in terms of water temperature, you want to be just below boiling point. Um, so one thing I use almost every day at home is uh, our fellow kettle. It's got a little uh, thermometer in there, so you can definitely keep things, um, keep an eye on your temperature there. Um, so going to the Valkyrie Brewer. So this thing is awesome. It's a ceramic brewer. Um, and the best thing about this is you don't need a filter. It has a built-in ceramic filter with a cross hatch, uh, which I think is just super cool. It allows you to uh, not have to use a ton of paper, not use any paper, frankly, to, to filter your coffee out. Um, it lets in a ton of oil, which is nice, but it doesn't let any of the grit. And so last year, as those of you who kind of follow along us, we eliminated all of our paper filters in our cafes. And one of the big changes was our manual brewing went from using a clever coffee dripper with a paper filter to these super cool ceramic filters. Um, and I also think they're just pretty cool. Gotta love German design and engineering, right? So um, as the water heats up, um, I'll tell you about the other things I'm using here. We got our Akaya scale. Um, these are the holy grail of scales here. Uh, they're very expensive. Don't feel like you need to buy one, but we do sell them. You can use any scale. The nice thing about this is it has a built-in timer as well, so that's cool. And uh, definitely gets the the job done, but you can use a cheap kitchen to, kitchen scale. You have tons of them in here for all kinds of stuff and you know your phone, uh, your phone timer. Um, so don't stress it if you can't get an Akaya scale. 
Uh, honestly, I don't even own one. I just stole this from one of our closed shops. So there we go. Um, so let's talk about brew ratios. We use 25 grams of coffee for 350 grams of water. And that's, um, that's kind of our basic ratio for a standard cup of coffee. And so here's our fellow kettle. It's got the, um, you can see the thermometer there. You can see this has like been abused and beat to death. I use this almost every day. So you can see it's like melted and all kinds of damage and still gets the job done. So love that. Um, we're gonna let the temperature come down a little bit. It's a little over boiling right now. So we're gonna wait till it's a little cooler and then we'll get to get to started. Um, the coffee we're brewing, like I said, it's, uh, it's an Ethiopia from, uh, from a co-op called Banco Chicha. And it is, um, it is super fruity. It's a natural grown at 1900 meters above sea level. Um, a very small number of farmers, about 800 farmers, give their top cherries to this one uh, mill. It's um, dried for three to four weeks on African dried beds, and it's just like a blueberry jam bomb. So you can't go wrong with this thing, it's great. All right, let's get the party started. Um, there we go. So we're gonna put our 25 grams in. I like to settle it a little bit just to get an even bed. The other nice thing about this brewer is it's super easy to use because they have this little top bit here which has holes all around it. So what you're gonna do is pour into here and it automatically just dispenses the water evenly across everything. So it's very, very easy to use. You don't need to have some fancy pouring. Uh, you know, you just go straight in, brews through. And so this is one of the things I love using at home because it's so uh, it's so easy to use. She's getting bored, it's so, so easy to use. Huh, doodles? All right, let's go. So our basic pouring method here is we're gonna pour 70 grams of water in every 45 seconds. And that's pretty much it until you get to 350 grams. So exciting. Now, while we're waiting for this to pour through, I um, wanted to just send love to everyone out there who is stressing this crazy time. Um, whether you're an employer, an employee, stay-at-home mom. So those of you who know me know that my wife is pregnant. We are in full lockdown mode and freaking out here. Um, yeah, you don't, so someone just asked, do you need a fancy kettle? No, any kettle will do. Honestly, you could boil water in anything and pour it right into the middle here because you don't need a fancy pouring spout at all. Um, so this is nice for that because it's so simple and easy to use. Um, so, you know, if you're, uh, again, I wanted to send all our love to everyone who's in a definitely in a stressful time. I don't think any of us have really experienced anything quite like what's going on today, uh, these last few weeks and what's definitely going on. Uh, next question here says, do you reset the grams each 45 seconds? No, I just add on top of it. I just keep the math in my head. So 70, 140, uh, 210, 280, 350. Someone just said, you're going to be a great dad. God, I, I hope so. Uh, <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so I mean, for everyone who's struggling right now, who's, who's freaking out, you know, if we can do anything to help you guys through this process, or if you just need someone to chat with, just send us an email, send me an email, or we're here for you guys. Um, like I said, we're keeping our Santa Monica shop open for as long as we can for people who need um, just to get out and walk there, get a coffee real fast and get, get back home. It's beautiful today. So do what you can. Uh, someone said we should name our, our son's middle name Kobe. I couldn't agree more. I think my wife doesn't like that idea. So we'll see what she has to say about that. Um, so this is slowly dripping down. One thing I forgot to mention is on this, you want to use the coarsest grind you can find. It is a very, very, um, you want the coarser the better. This will be very slow. Otherwise, I set this to the coarsest setting possible and it's just barely dripping through right now. So keep that in mind. Um, I don't even know if I'll be able to keep this on my own time and time and weight uh, ratio right now. It's going to take me a little longer than I thought. Um, yeah. So um, any other questions I can answer anybody right now? Um, fire away. So I think what we're going to do in the next few weeks is probably do an ice minty cubano at home. Um, we're going to do. Um, we're hoping to do a, a virtual sketch party with some of our sketch party partners that we've done in the past. Um, and, um, if 
you can think of other things you'd like us to show you how to do at home, fire them my way. Um, one thing I wanted to mention is if you are watching this right now and you wanted to buy coffee beans, we are doing 19% off of all coffee beans because it's COVID-19. Uh, so hop on our website and use the code COVID and get 19% off of all your coffee beans. And we're doing free shipping on everything. Um, and that should be fun for, uh, for those of you who need coffee at home and get your, get your caffeine on. Um, I think as this drags on into months, uh, or, you know, having good coffee at home is one of those little luxuries that will make life just a little bit easier. Um, I don't know what I would do without, uh, decent coffee at home. That's for sure. Um, so we'll see. So someone's asking, could you show how to make cold brew with a French press? Yes, I can definitely do that. How to grind your coffee without a coffee grinder. That, that I definitely don't know how to do. Um, you definitely are going to need a coffee grinder to grind coffee. But if you need coffee ground, we can grind it for you before we ship it to you. So if you just, if you're ordering coffee from us or if you're going into the cafes to buy um, coffee at home, uh, just have them grind it for you for a French press. And then that way you don't need to have a grinder at home. Um, so no problem there. Otherwise, um, mortar and pestle maybe. I don't know if that works very well, but you can give it a go. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see what other people say. Hi, Bobby. It's Sky. Hi, Sky. Hope you're staying safe. Um, crazy times, man. Different brews for AeroPress. Yeah, we can definitely do a whole AeroPress series. Um, espresso shot. I, I've, I've seen people try to do AeroPress as in like kind of like a wannabe espresso, but um, I don't know. I don't think you can replicate espresso at home without an espresso machine. That's my two cents at least, but uh, I'll give it a go. Uh, we can definitely do some AeroPress stuff soon. Um, so as you can see, this is taking way longer than I told you it should take. Um, my grinder isn't that great at home. It doesn't get that coarse. Uh, maybe I should steal a grinder from one of my closed cafes. Um, yeah. So uh, like I said, if you're just joining us and there's a bunch of people joining us now, if you want coffee bean at a super discount, hop on and do uh, use, the po use the code COVID uh, and you'll get 19% off of your coffee beans. Um, LA Coffee Club says the flare is super impressive. Yes, I own a flare. It is fantastic for espresso at home. That's more of an espresso machine than a, uh, it's a manual espresso machine. We can definitely do a demo of that too here if you guys want um, and just direct you to their site to buy um, what's probably the best manual espresso machine you can get at home in my opinion. Coffee cocktails. Um, I could try to do some coffee cocktails. Let me, let me brainstorm and see what we can do there. These are all great ideas. Um, what else do you guys want us to do over the next, I think it's going to be a, at least a month of lockdown. So we, we're going to have time to just sit here and, and, and do all kinds of coffee stuff at home together. Um, so I hope everyone's doing okay at home. A um, little bit more about this coffee, which I totally love. As, as it brews through, you should get like all kinds of blueberry jam notes. It's super fruity. It's super um, just bright, floral. I get like a nice brown, sugary sweetness out of it. It's fantastic. Espresso martini. Um, we can definitely do some espresso martinis. Can we reenact our coffee dinner from eight years ago? <laughs> yeah. Get me a chef to do that. We're in. Um... Man, that was a long time ago. Uh, so we're almost there. We're at 280. So we got one more pour here, and then we'll, we'll be ready to drink. Um, so we, like I said, we'll we'll be doing a whole bunch of different brew methods and and you know different how tos at home. Ice mint cubano, coffee cocktails, all kinds of stuff. We can get the dog involved as much as you guys want. Um, she loves herself a puppuccino. Uh, and yeah, should be good times for everybody. Um, as, as good as it gets going at home. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting stir crazy and it's only day three. I don't know how I'm going to survive a month of this. So we'll be doing lots of live video stuff just to keep me entertained. So join us for all that over the next few weeks. Uh, and I hope everyone is holding, holding it up at home and, and you know, um, uh, keeping their head above water. How soon after brewing is it safe to drink without burning the tongue? That is a good question. Um, that depends on your tolerance for heat and um, how hot your water was. Um, because this is a, the nice thing about this is it's all insulated. It's a nice ceramic brewer and it keeps the heat pretty intact the whole brewing time. It's um, I would give it a few minutes before you try 
drinking anything out of this because it's uh it comes out pretty hot it's not as hot as like a siphon which is like stays on the heat the whole time but it gets there all right last pour here and we're almost there everyone um and i'm loving all the hearts thanks everybody you guys are great wow i got someone from the uk joining us i didn't even know anyone knew us out in the uk hello so we love your beans oh thanks guys hope you guys are safe wherever you guys are you guys are all over the place um so anyways if you're just joining us and you want to buy some some coffee beans again use the code covid and you guys are uh, you guys can buy coffee beans for 19 percent off uh get it covid 19 corny jokes um someone asked how how can we support your business in this time uh online purchase anything online come in our santa monica shop and support our our business partners uh like you know i mentioned at the top a lot of the smaller independent cafes are still open if you go to found go to highlight go to constellation go to reverend do what you can um dad jokes on deck i got pirate jokes for days adam um but you know go to hustle and dough i think he's still running around he's selling donuts everywhere he goes so just support your local small business owners uh and their baristas we're gonna pop a tip jar a virtual tip jar for the guys who are, aren't working um you know who knows what's going to happen in the next few months so but you know government support and this and that so you know every little bit helps um if you're in long beach go say hi to denise over at a, a confidential coffee um people are asking can we donate money you're using your website we're gonna have um a tip jar on instagram through um so you can you can definitely donate money to those guys soon we'll post that um i think later today we'll get the tip jar up and running the virtual tip jars i think are very very cool um but you know it's not just about supporting us we want to be able to support you guys if there's things you need um that we can supply through our open cafes i know some people are offering bread and milk and these kinds of things to the extent that I can get those for you, let me know. We can funnel that into our cafe uh, for pickup. Um, you know, trying to do everything that we can to support the the, the folks who live around us. Um, you know, I'm heading into Little Tokyo later to just give all of our burritos and, and extra milk to the senior citizen center at our house, uh, near our cafe there. Um, you know, we're all in this together and, and especially the people at the most risk need the most help. So uh, we're trying to do what we can to be, you know, community players, if you will. Um, all right, so this guy dripped all the way through. We are good to go. Um, all right, and my favorite part is drinking out of our fancy Minka mug. So we have our coffee snob cup mug and then our coffee geek mug. And those are literally based on our little pup here. Um, she became our little shop dog at this point, so. You can watch the pour. All right. Like I said, this thing is um, super fruity. You get a lot of blueberry notes, strawberry notes. <clears throat> if you like, <clears throat> excuse me. If you like a good natural, uh, natural Ethiopia. If you like those blueberry fermenty notes, it's awesome. Someone's asking me, what does it smell like? It it really does smell like blueberry stew. Like uh, if you're trying to make jam and you just pour a bunch of blueberries and a little bit of water and stew it up. You definitely get that on the nose. Um, and that's what I always look for in a good Ethiopian coffee. Uh, it's just awesome. Um, not for everybody. Ethiopian coffees. If you're not into naturals, I would direct you towards our Colombian coffee. Um, you know, it's amazing. Just as totally as an aside. The whole world's on lockdown, and yet the spam callers are still, like, going strong every day. Anyways, um, so that's it for our brewing, uh, our first brewing class, if you will, or chat. Let's call it a chat. It's not much of a class. Um, so next Tuesday, we're going to do how to make your own iced minty cubanos at home. Um, that should be kind of a little bit more fun and, and not so uh, technical as, you know, brewing coffee. Um, if you guys have any questions, if you need anything, email us, slide into our DMs. Um, we're trying to do what we can to stay open and, and, you know, if you need coffee, order it online, come through the cafe, uh, go to one of our partner's cafes. Um, she's getting stir crazy too. Uh, thanks for, thanks for stopping on by. Um, like I said, if you want coffee beans, 
Use the code COVID and go to our website and you will get 19% off. And that's what we're, we're trying to do here. Is keep our doors open and help everyone out. Um, and I'll see you guys all on Tuesday. Thanks everyone. Cheers.